Okay, so today we are going to look at Hello System, which is a free BSD based distribution that has, well, a more oldish Mac style OS type of interface on it, as you can uh, see here. And, well, what I'd like to do is see if we can actually get this installed and if we can get it uh, running at all. Um, I do apologize for the resolution is not great. Um, do want to see if I can fix that. Um, preferences, okay, screen settings. Maybe I can fix it here. Uh, Okay, resolution 920 by 1080 let's apply that so out of the box of course uh, as i already mentioned it does run free bsd uh, 13 i think this one is based on but let's go ahead and uh, install this i'm gonna install this on vbox yes i'm gonna say continue uh my details um, and we'll just call this hello system. Go continue and uh, let it uh, install in the meantime. There is a newer version out or still a prototype version, but I believe that is a tad unstable. Okay, if it says it's been installed, so let's do a restart. Sorry, I can't get rid of the bar at the bottom, but this is as good as we've got it. So, of course, this is the system, as I've already mentioned. And if we open up a terminal, of course, um, this will have the traditional Unix um, or FreeBSD stuff installed. And you can see it makes use of ZSH uh, here. Under the box, of course, it's using not too much memory. It's using about... 304 megs is really lightweight uh over seven megs of memory free my cpu usage pretty low um so not too much to report there which is great uh let's just uh close that and then of course if we go to the system it'll show us again about uh the hardware we've got here and of course a menu here we can go through all the different items uh, here, of course, you can create a new blank file or folder. So I'll just call this DD. Open this up. And you can either choose Feather App or LibreOffice. So it's an app here. And if I click on this, it will maximize the screen. So let's just got the changes. Um, tools. Um, applications, utility. So let's start with applications. So you've got... The same as over here. So here we have Featherpad, Lecter, which is for um, ebook management, I think. Uh, and then, of course, you've got 3D printing, you've got FreeCAD, uh, Ultramaker, Audio, you've got Audacious, Audacity, even LMS at MuseScore. Oh, it needs to be downloaded. Okay, well, let's download it. Um, Authenticate. And I guess it will download in the background. It'll come up with the screen. Um, and then your usual uh, graphics apps, you know, stuff like GIMP, Inkscape, which also apparently needs to be downloaded. It looks like a lot of these are placeholders and it needs to download these apps. Uh, we have LibreOffice. Then again, also needs to be downloaded. Okay. Uh, preferences, boot environment, screen settings, mouse, keyboard. Uh, so let's go to users. Authenticate. Uh, it shows me my gosh user. Um, I don't see any screen here that's telling me about uh, where it's busy downloading uh, Audacious. Okay, we already. Oh, okay, there it is. It is. No password was provided. Do I need to do that again? Uh, let's just try that again. Yes. 
Oh, my soul. Okay. If you do this too quickly, you're going to have a bad time. Do you want done right now? Yes. Okay. Okay, now there's a a screen going on here. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Um, then here we've got preferences. So your boot environments. Right, so selecting which boot environment you would want to start up. So if you have a multi-boot system, you could configure that. Um, I don't actually know if that error did or didn't. Okay, well, they just won't start. All right, maybe we have to do system update first. Um, carrying on here. And a construction... Uh, section where they're working display app um settings app uh, i guess that's why this section is under construction uh, install debian runtime a simple browser so i guess some of these will work some of these won't work and of course if you were to install the debian runtime it means you could install some linux applications uh on the machine itself uh here of course you've got a calculator and you'll also notice as well, which I'll show you the next app, calendar. Uh, this at the top, of course, uh, universal bar, which uh, shows you more info about the apps. If I just close that, you'll see it's different as it is here. We're a good bookmark, or openness route, etc. Um, nothing else really under. Nothing else really under utilities under construction, although update. Let's update the system. Okay, well, as I said, maybe that will work later. Um, well, that uh, tries to update. Let's just see, and then there's uh, Minitube, OBS Studio, and Shotcut which also needs to be downloaded. So a lot of these apps, as we see, are kind of placeholders. Um, nothing wrong with that. Although, of course, if you install this, uh, it will not have been corrected. Okay. Uh, and, of course, here you have Falcon uh, Web Browser, which is pretty lightweight. Uh, if you want, of course, then the utilities portion, which we've gone through, still the same. Um, and I'm sure you can, if we spent more time on this, we could probably update this from the CLI. But this is still pretty, you know, earlyish days. There are later versions that are out. And uh, when released, we'll hopefully have more features. But it's definitely you can see the inspiration where this has come from. Even just looking at the desktop preferences. Um, this is essentially, of course, very... Uh, old Mac OS uh, style, but it is nice to see someone working on a edition of FreeBSD or BSD that uh, is more usable. And yes, one that isn't, uh, you know, the existing Ghost BSD that uses, of course, uh, the Mate environment, and nothing wrong with that, but it is. Nice to see something a little bit different out there. So, folks, uh, yeah, what do you, folks, uh, what do you, we think, well, will be pretty interesting, really. Um, definitely, if you know Mac OS, you're going to uh, pretty much like this. And uh, we'll probably try this in a real uh, bit of hardware, because I think it looks really interesting. And it would be really nice to get uh, this working properly. But uh, not bad, not bad at all. I'm really excited for the future. Folks, as always, thanks for watching and bye for now. Mm -hmm.